I do a tumble out the Hummer and throw a knife right through your eye cavity. <laughs> I'm recognized as a stand-up guy by five families. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most inquisitive show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosner, but my territorial co-host, Graydon. Don't cross the line. Stay right there. Today we're reading strange things and guessing who said them. This is... Guess, Guess the rapper, rapper from the weird lyric. But this is Battle Edition. So for today's game, I've picked seven weird lyrics and Graydon's picked seven weird lyrics. So I'm gonna show him a weird lyric and he's gonna try to guess. And then he's gonna show me a weird lyric and I'm gonna try to guess back and forth until we have a winner. One point for each one to get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Goth in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Didn't even know there was a St. Cloud. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have merch over on Cope's website, that's linked in our description, as well as our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us, or click the Join button here on YouTube, become a member, you get eight exclusive emotes, a knife next to your name in the chat, and extra content. Thanks to all the members. First up is a lyric I've chosen for Graydon. This rapper says, rap is just one of my fetishes, like a dragon that's pregnant. What? Exactly. <laughs> Are pregnant dragons like a fetish? I was thinking about it and I feel like in like the deviant art community there's definitely some pregnant dragon drawings I guess yes okay or maybe it's a Shrek thing does that like give me a hint that this artist might be hip to deviant art I honestly don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's really a hint or a clue I don't know enough about this artist rap is just one of my fetishes <laughs> <laughs> like a dragon that's pregnant in it. <laughs> it's a good rhyme scheme. I'll give him that. I like that it's just like rap is one of my fetishes too. Yeah. It's like, it's a fetish? Yeah, he gets in the studio. He's like, oh. He's like, you know what gets me off? Rap. <laughs> Bars. Now don't judge me, but. I'm really into rap. <laughs> in the bedroom. Can you spit a bar for me? Please. It's the only way I'm gonna finish. Give me a hot 16, baby. Give me a hot 16. <laughs> Punch me in. Punch me in. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil B. It is Jaden Smith. See that, uh, he is probably hip to DeviantArt. I mean, I'm sure he is. He's of the age. Right. Lil B could say this though. Absolutely. That's a good guess. Yeah, absolutely Lil B could say this because he's saying whatever. A Calabasas freestyle. Yeah. God damn him. The rap is just one of my fetishes like a dragon is pregnant, yo. What? It's funny that he's kind of rapping it like an old Tyler song or something. Yeah, or like Logic or something. It's like a boom bap kind of deal, but like dark. Probably the only game in High Mind history that starts with Jaden Smith. Smith as the first answer. Hopefully the last, yeah, too. Hey. Classic Nepo, baby. He's not hiding it. It's called a Calabasas freestyle. That's true. It's funny, though. I feel like there's definitely some rappers who did a Calabasas freestyle or some other rich place, mm -hmm. like, finally made it here. Right. It's like, this is just... He went to high school here. <laughs> <laughs> this could be any time in his life yeah. he could have been doing a Calabasas freestyle. Yeah. Okay, next up, my bar. Okay, what do you got for me? This lyric is, I put my rat tat tat in her boom boom pow, and then she put her tit, tit, tit all up in my mouth. Ooh, I wish they had said mouth, mouth, mouth at the <laughs> exactly, end. Exactly. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like it needs the mouth, mouth, mouth? <laughs> yeah, to make it like full on nursery riddle or whatever. Rat tat tat in her boom, boom, pow. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I favored this format of lyrics quite a bit where people just said things like boom, boom, pow. Oh, there's a lot of automatopoeia. Absolutely. <laughs> That's not gonna bode well for me. I think to guess this one, I'm gonna have to really understand it. So right. I would like to break it down a little bit. Please be my guest. I put my rat tat tat. Now, that's somehow a penis in right. this euphemism. Yeah. My rat tat tat. <laughs> Coincidentally, that was actually 6 ix nickname for a minute. Rat tat tat. In her Boom Boom Pow, which is a Black Eyed Peas song, mm -hmm. could that be a clue? Yeah. Okay. And then she put her tit, tit, tit. Now that I understand. Plain as day. The only thing throwing me off is that there's three. Three. Yeah. Same thing. A lot of people would like it. Some people think it's too much. Yep. I say whatever floats your boat. More power to you. Doesn't matter to me. No. All up in my mouth. Yep. Head hole. <laughs> it's really only one name that makes sense here. Three, two, one. I put Flo Rida. Mmm, no. This is Snoop Dogg. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> that makes complete sense. Absolutely. <laughs> as soon as I, yeah. Say wow. it in his voice. I put my rat tat tat in her boom boom <laughs> exactly. pow. Exactly. Wow, what a pick though. I put my rat tat tat in her boom boom And then she put her tit 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 all up in my mouth. <laughs> the call and response to. It just like bad cadence. Like he had it right there. It would have been so much better if in he did mouth mouth mouth. 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 Yeah. <laughs> double D-O-double-D. -double -D. 
Word. Thanks, man. <laughs> zero, zero still. We're stumping each other. Yes. And that's kind of the point. This new battle edition idea is so that we can both show each other things and test each other. Yeah. My next one for you. Who said this? 44 on my waist. Rick Ross jeans. Wow, that's a good bar. Oh yeah. That's a really good bar. 44 is a caliber of a pistol, maybe a revolver, and 44 waisted jeans would be large. And Rick Ross, the boss, although he is fit now, is large still. Which could be a clue of when this was set. Oh, you're right, yeah. Pre-fitness arc, Rick Ross. Pre-working out till the cows come home. Well said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 44 on my waist, Rick Ross jeans. Just such a hard bar. Yeah. It's Someone yeah. toting, you know, this isn't going to be Drake. It's not going to- As if Drake's never talked about having guns. Never. He's a clean rapper. That's what makes him so special. He's like the Jerry Seinfeld of rap. <laughs> wow, that works way too well. Yeah. Even with like the kind of like, there's something there. Yeah. There's something problematic there with age gaps. <laughs> and the Jewish thing. And that he's kind of like the greatest of all time. Yeah. <laughs> and when it goes like commercially yeah. and arguably quality as well. Three, two, one. Two chains. This is Lil Wayne. I knew it's such a Wayne bar. It's such a Wayne bar. I just went with like maybe the Atlanta connection. Yeah. Two chains always got punchlines, you know. But totally. I mean they're both punchline rappers, but yeah. this is just quintessential Wayne. 44 on my waist, Rick Ross jeans. Fire. It's so fire. fire. God, I feel like that's a really a missed opportunity for me. That was one that I thought was a bit of a softball for you, being such a big Wayne fan. Yep. I wish I could go back in time and change things about myself. Like? <sighs> I'm not saying that I have a time machine to offer you or know a guy who has a time machine. I'm not saying yeah. any of that. I'm just asking if you could, what would you do? I drank expired milk one time in seventh grade at lunch. Okay. And I had an accident the next period. I wish I didn't drink that milk. That's what you would do with it? That's something I would do with it, yeah. It's not only like a selfish choice, yeah. but like a really mundane one. Well, like, I'd kill Hitler afterwards. Oh, okay. Afterwards, wow, you are old. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. Next lyric, this line reads, I'm the click commander, she wet like a salamander. Salamander. Green diamonds in my charm, that's a frozen salad. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Bit nasty, this one. Yeah. Bit nasty, this one. I'm the click commander. <laughs> Thank you for your service. She wet like a salamander. Those 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 little buggers are slimy. Yeah, they're slimy and wet, but what a weird wet thing to reference. It implies that it's like gooey. Yeah, that ooey gooey. It implies more of a moistness, a morning dew, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Rather than like a, a true sloppy wet bucket in a mop, macaroni in a pot. Green diamonds in my charm, that's a frozen salad. <laughs> <laughs> she just said iceberg lettuce. Yes. Like, I mean, it doesn't rhyme, but it's a way better analogy. Yeah. Like a frozen salad isn't like something people have. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> You're referencing something that no, like that's not something you brag about. So it's gotta be somebody nasty. Somebody who likes to bust it down sexual style. Somebody grimy. I will say you don't think of them that way. Oh, maybe like a, a good boy? An artiste. An artist, huh? Commander Clit, we need your help on the deck. Sergeant, I don't see anything. I have no <laughs> idea where this is. Nothing's coming up on sonar, radar. We just can't find it. Someone's got to call the commander. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put J-I-D. Smino. Ah, this that's right where I was. Oh. There's someone who's like wordy enough to like slip weird shit by you every once in a while. And, then and they, you... they have like a specific flow to them too that's melodic. Like, yeah. She went like a salamander. Like, yeah. That's how I thought of it. Yeah. I knew I'd heard it before too. This is from Z4L. Oh, God, I love that song. Yeah. I'm the click commander. She went like a salamander. Green diamonds in my tongue. That's a frozen salad. Shout out to Bari. That Absolutely. hook is so hard. <laughs> White tea. Ay. All right, Ofer still. I will say that if you get this one, I will be legitimately flabbergasted. Okay. But you done broke my heart into a million pieces. I should have seen it coming. Wish I had telekinesis. <laughs> it's not even the right thing. Yeah, that's what makes it weird. Yeah. Telekinetic powers like allow you to move things with your mind. Correct. Kinetic. Telepathy would allow you to read someone's thoughts. Yeah. Like uh, Mel Gibson in What a Woman Wants. He can hear women's thoughts. Oh my God. It's, it's, a, oh, it's a classic. I can hear women's thoughts too. And sometimes I just wish they'd shut up. You don't mean that. I don't. Okay. I say stuff on the, on yeah. the screen. I'm just like, whatever. Just making sure. I love when women speak. Me too. And when they lead. And when they leave. <laughs> I would right. vote for a woman for president. I'll just say it. A lot of people wouldn't say that, but I would say it. I, I'll say it right now. I would I would vote for a woman for president. Well, if one ran, which still hasn't happened yet. Nikki Haley's running this year. Well, I'd have to learn who that is, and then I can figure it out. She's, she's a, a Republican? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's cool. a... 
So you'll be flabbergasted if I guess it. That doesn't give me confidence, you know? You're supposed to uplift. Make me believe I can do it. I think a hint is warranted for this one. So okay. let me give you one. This is not someone that you would think of in your head as a rapper. Okay. And their heyday would be like 2010, you think, Grant? 10 through 12. 10 through 12, they kind of had it on lock. Yeah. Three, two, one. Pitbull. Close, it's LMFAO. <laughs> I had their thought, like, oh, I thought about them. Man, they were heartbroken. Oh, just wait till you see what song it is. I almost feel like, should we just play it first? Let's play it first, yeah. And then try to see if you can tell what song this is on. Okay. It's a remix of a song. Okay. But you don't broke my heart into a million pieces. I should have seen it coming, wish I had delicate pieces. It's awesome. I don't recognize the song. It is Love Lockdown Party Rock Remix. There we go. Love Lockdown by Kanye West. Wow. Party Rock Remix. Amazing Grace. You know how sweet that sound. I was blind. But? Still blind. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to cure. Mm -hmm. Mr. Beast, where are you? <laughs> I wish he would cure my emotional blindness, Mr. Beast. I don't want him anywhere near me. Really? Yeah, no. Do you, you're playing into the theories that you think he's satanic or something? No, I mean, I'm cool with Satanism. Oh, okay. Then why don't you want him near you? Seems like a piece of shit. What is it? Is it all the charity? It's all the charity. It's the playing God. It's the, his name's Jimmy. Is it the putting charity and charitable works on the highest platform, therefore making them more popular and stylish, encouraging others to do so? And yeah. Inevitably helping way more people than would ever be helped. He's got a real Ellen vibe to him. Is it that for years we've always said that famous people are famous for nothing and use their platforms for nothing but to help themselves and then we finally see somebody using his platform to help other people and figure it just has to be satanic in some way? Again, I don't care if it's satanic. It just, he leaves a bad taste in my mouth. That's fine. Something about it just feels to me like we're really complaining about this. There's like, there's other shit going on. I'm on Cleveland like I'm Kyrie Irving. Same place I caught my first STD. Whoa, that took a turn. <laughs> I'm on Cleveland like I'm Kyrie Irving. On Cleveland. <laughs> I know. What do you I, mean you're on Cleveland? I triple checked it. I was like, he had to have said he's in Cleveland, right? Nope. I'm on Cleveland. Was this wrapped when Kyrie Irving was playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers? I believe so. That helps. Yeah. Same place I caught my first STD. <laughs> Don't tell me that. No. <laughs> Sports reference and then way too much personal information. <laughs> this person is not from Cleveland or from Ohio. That makes sense. I guess if you were from Cleveland, it's not like a shocker that you caught your first STD there. Right. It's like the most likely place you would. Well, other than Bowling Green. Well, correct. Yeah. <laughs> you can get one just driving through town. Yeah. <laughs> Go Falcons. It is a strange one of their songs. Like, you know, a lot of this artist's songs, you might have never heard this one. Three, two, one. Put Lil B. It's Young Thug. Ah, <laughs> that makes sense. He has the nonsensical, yeah. like, it's all about delivery, and yeah. you can tell he's super Wayne-inspired, freestyle. He'll let something that doesn't make sense just slip into a song. Historically overshares a little bit, too. No Wendy's Controller remix? <laughs> You're right, I've never heard right. this song. I'm on Cleveland like I'm Kyrie Irving. Same place I caught my first STD. <laughs> it's just on the controller beat? That's crazy. I could have never imagined Young Thug on the controller beat saying this. Right. Same place I caught my first STD. Also, why is it called No Wendy's? I don't know, man. <laughs> it is weird. Everything about it's weird. They rap about not liking Wendy's. The, like, it's almost like a Wendy's dish track. <laughs> It's a it's Wendy's like, dip. what it sounds like for the most part, yeah. Wendy's is so good. Not the dog. My next one for you. I do a tumble out the Hummer and throw a knife right through your eye cavity. <laughs> I'm recognized as a stand-up guy by five families. <laughs> <laughs> Just five. Five different families. Tumble out the Hummer is fire. Throw a knife through your eye cavity. Also kind of cool imagery there. It's like a strangely combative graphic image that it's making me think of only like a few people. To me, there is only one one person on earth who can say this. Okay. This is their exact rapping style. Oh, I'm trying to hear the voice in my head. I don't. Three, two, one. West Side Gun. It's Action Bronson. Oh, exactly. It's so close. Oh. So close. Oh. I can hear it now. Do a tumble out the Hummer, oh, throw a knife right through your eye cavity. Damn. Do a tumble out the Hummer and throw a knife right through your eye cavity. Damn. I'm recognized as a stand-up guy by five families. Beautiful. I will say this is kind of in his Griselda bag in a certain way. Yeah. It's like there are just times when Action Bronson's music gets dark enough that it sounds a little Griselda. Yeah. And West Side Guns music specifically gets animated 
it enough that it feels like an Action Bronson yeah. song. They like meet somewhere. Yeah, I was hearing basically that inflection just with West Side Gun's voice. Yeah. What do you got for me next? You're not going to get it right. Well, read it to me. I'm a little hot dog on the grill. <laughs> yeah, your love is hot, but that's the thrill. I'm happy on the grill. Is this a rapper? No. Okay, <laughs> well, not. that makes sense. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, your love is hot, but that's the thrill. I'm happy on the grill. Fucking Dr. Seuss or some shit? <laughs> Don't hurt yourself on this one. Do you think even like a guess in my mind that makes sense that's not a rapper has any chance of being right? Probably not. Is it someone I've heard of? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Why are you picking someone I've maybe heard of? I thought at this point you'd already, like, we'd already have a couple points and I could just bring to you something truly hilarious. I mean, yeah, it's funny, but oh man. Three, two, one. Frank Zappa. Oh, it is Peter Ivers. Oh, I totally, that was the next one. I don't even know who that is, so. Okay, we're gonna hear a little bit of it, and then I'm gonna read you the last verse of the song. Sure. I want you to know really quick, though, that my first thought was Randy Newman. <laughs> Singing in a Randy Newman yeah, voice. Okay. I'm a little hot dog on the grill. <laughs> yeah, your love is hot, but that's the thrill. I'm happy on the grill. <laughs> yeah, that works. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I could see him in there just fucking doing that. Totally. I'm a little hot dog on the grill, yeah. Love is hot, but that's the thrill. I'm happy on the grill. <laughs> that little creepy voice. Yeah, that is, that's odd. All right, here's how the last verse goes. Real quick, I have yeah. to say, just listen to it again with this thought in mind. It kind of sounds like Youth Lagoon. Oh, yeah, I can hear it you in the vocals. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it sound a little bit like a Youth Lagoon song? Yeah. The final verse is, It's been said that God's dead, and it's lucky for us he died. Because if he saw the mess that we made, he wouldn't let a soul survive. He'd burn the world with fire until everything was still. But I'd be, I'd be, I'd be happy, happy on the grill. Wow. <laughs> so it's like dystopian, apocalyptic hot dog on the grill vibes. <laughs> I'm happy on the grill. <laughs> yeah, what a weird song, man. Yeah, super weird. All right, great. Next I have for you. I live for the nights that I can't remember with the people that I won't forget. Oh, why does this sound so iconic? I basically picked this one to point out that this person's lyrics sound like suburban mom <laughs> kitchen decor. <laughs> or like sorority house dining room, you know what I mean? Tumblr post. Sure. In cursive over a picture of a sunset and mm -hmm. maybe like the silhouette of a martini glass. <laughs> it's kind of exactly who you think it would be, early career. I'm happy on the grill. <laughs> There's one person's voice that came to mind right away. I'm just sticking with my gut here. Three, two, one. Is it Drake? It is Drake. <laughs> What song is this? Show me a good time. Ah, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> the first line in the first verse of show me a good time. He kind of is the suburban housewife, the home decor, <laughs> sorority girl, Instagram caption guy. That's you know? what I was gonna say. It's in, it's the beginning of the Instagram caption era. Yeah. And nowadays that means a different thing for a Drake bar. Right. You know, trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Mm -hmm. That's the new Instagram <laughs> caption bar from Drake. But yeah. back in the day, it was shit like this. Yeah, and a picture of like seven than white guys on a fishing trip like <laughs> I live for the nights that I can't remember with the people that I won't forget show me a good time oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> shout out to Drake man big shout out to Drake speaking of Drake mm -hmm. I have two Drake related bars that I wrote would you like to hear them I would love to first one which I think is the better of the two okay said he was gonna slide with the Drake it was all talk there's nothing to see Tusi, Tusi slide with the Drake. Yeah. Second one, less of a bar and a rap song, mm -hmm. more of like a classic one-liner thing I'd say in a video. I'd leave it to other people to call you classic, but go ahead. No, no, I'm saying classic for me. Like I'm saying like my classic style. Yeah. Like the same way like Lay's classic. Like they're calling, you know what I mean? It's like the same. <laughs> yeah. This is a yellow bag Riley bar. Got it. You know, if there's one thing I've learned from being a Drake fan, is that there's a time and place for everything. You know, 4 p.m. in Calabasas, time and place for everything. Right. Because there's a time and place song for everything, for me, for every feeling I've ever felt. We should drop a song called like Noon in Toledo. Ooh, yeah. But we have to do it at noon in Toledo. Fine. Henville? <laughs> okay, one nothing, Riley. I'm on the board. This next one goes, say no mo, cause she go low. Bless my whoa whoa. I say, uh oh, she starts slow mo. Oh <laughs> my God. This is just like, it's like talking to a baby. My whoa whoa. <laughs> she go low, bless my whoa whoa. <laughs> Cause she go low. Yeah. That's probably below the waist. To bless their whoa whoa. <laughs> Again, so the rat tat tat and the whoa whoa. He yeah. says, uh-oh, <laughs> she starts slow-mo. I don't know why he's saying uh-oh there. Uh-oh. Like, oh, don't start slow. I mean, 
<laughs> like, of course she starts slow, but yeah. it'd be weird if she didn't. Um, it go, it, or do it however you want. I don't. It doesn't matter to me, uh, especially if you're calling it a whoa, whoa. And, <laughs> and I'll say this as a hint. You don't want to picture them having sex. You don't want to picture them having sex? Yeah, most people wouldn't. Really? It'd be weird, like, if this person's nudes leaked and everyone wanted to see them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd just be weird. Probably. I don't know what you're into, but, like, I think the general consensus would be, like, I'm good. Interesting. Three, two, one. Two chains? It's Lil Wayne. Ah. People would not want to see Lil Wayne's nudes? You don't think? You think they would? Yeah, you've said this in videos before, and I've said the same thing. He was like a sex icon of the 2000s. Like, Pete, girls would be like, he's my dream guy. I don't believe it. You just said that it would be weird to hear Lil Wayne talk dirty to you. It would be. I think it would be because you're you. I think there's a lot of women out there who would really like that. Really? <laughs> yes! He's like 5'5". Five, five. I don't know. I just don't think of Lil Wayne as like traditionally attractive. I don't know. I think a lot of people do. Like, if Jay-Z's nudes leaked, I'd be like, let me see it. What? <laughs> this is so backwards. Jay-Z is famously not good looking. Yeah, but like, he's Jay-Z. He's big Jay-Z. He's Lil Wayne's in the same conversation as Jay-Z. But in Jay-Z's case, it's been with Beyonce. And so I'd have to see what she's seen, you know what I mean? With Lil Wayne, <laughs> he's not like <laughs> married to the most famous woman ever. And so I'm not that interested in what his penis looks like. Okay, maybe I'd check it out. Okay, but... <laughs> maybe I'd want to look. Maybe I'd be a little curious, but I'd be less <laughs> curious than other rappers. Why is your interest in seeing a rapper's penis contingent on which women have seen it? <laughs> Because then we'd have that in common, I guess. You just want to be closer to Beyonce in some way? Kind of, yes. <laughs> Can you blame me for that? I, I don't know, man. There's so many Lil Wayne bars out there. Why this? This is just fucking mush mouth nonsense. Uh, my whoa-whoa. Me and Grant say my whoa-whoa all the time. I know, but... <laughs> No more, cause she go low, bless my wo -wo. I say, uh oh, she starts slow mo. I can promise you, he never thought about saying this after the first time he freestyled it. He nope. doesn't even know he said this. No. And this rhyme scheme goes on for, I think, like over a minute. Just keeps going, yo yo, wo wo, coco. Oh, I hope he used bogo. Buy one, get one. Spinning a yo yo back in Soho. Graydon, who said this one? I'm on my seance shit. I'm trying to make a million dollars, keep it hood while crossing over on some AI shit. That's fire. I picked this one just because I love this bar and wanted to talk about it in a video. I'm on my seance shit. A spell of sorts. Conjuring a spirit. In this case, hopefully it's a banker. Because this spell is trying to garner this person a million dollars. But let's keep it hood while crossing over on some AI shit. Allen Iverson, famously criticized for his character flaws in the NBA. Uh-huh. He kept it hood. He kept it hood. And famous for his crossover, which snapped Michael Jordan's old little ankles. Woo-wee. And maybe consciousness can cross over through the human realm into the technological space with AI. I thought you were going somewhere with the seance thing. No. Like, you're, all, you're, oh, oh yeah. AI. Like right. artificial intelligence. Yeah. Kind of download your personality into your laptop. Three, two, one. Vince Staples. It is Vince Staples. Let's go, baby. Vince Staples on Wool by Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah. Yes. God, I'm glad you got that. Okay. That's good. And I originally thought Earl. I'm like, ah, oh, Riley loves Earl. He's going to put an Earl bar in here. But then just like the context of the bars, it's more Vince. Yeah, it's more Vince. I'm on my seance shit. I'm I'm trying to make a million dollars, keep a hood while crossing over on some AI shit. Damn. God, that song. They're nasty together. They are. They're nasty together. Do nothing. Shit, Whoosh. man. All right, this next one goes, yo, yo, yo. Flavors in your ass crease. Ha! Artist name. <laughs> About to bring the noise, so cease. Ha! Flavors in your ass crease? What is this? What the hell? <laughs> this is like a classic example of when you pull something out of context. It's like, wait, he said that? Flavors in your ass crease is just so weird. <laughs> like, I don't know where this could sit in a song. God. I will say that line is like, it's like necessary. Like, he's not just referencing the flavors of your ass crease. <laughs> it's like, the song is about flavors. <laughs> <laughs> the song is about flavors? Yeah, and putting them somewhere. What? Where does music hit you? In your soul? No. <laughs> it's an iconic song with like five legends on it. Three, two, one. Put Eminem. It is Busta Rhymes. Oh. <laughs> and it's from the song Flavor in Your Ear. 
Oh my god. Yeah, the Craig Mack classic. Yeah. Who got the brand new flavor in you? I was just not even thinking at all in the right space. I was yeah. that's like completely off my radar at this moment. And it's also one of those lines that like when Busta delivers it, you're not like, whoa, why do you say ass crease? You're like, there goes Busta Rhymes. Yeah, <laughs> like, he does fine. say stuff like that for yeah. sure. <laughs> and Eminem doesn't say stuff like Eminem about to bring the noise. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Your flavors in your ass grease. Bust the vibes about to bring the noise, so cease. He sings it a little more than I even remember, you know. <laughs> flavors in your ass crease. <laughs> yeah, it's not his normal delivery. <laughs> no. I was expecting like, yo, 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 flavors in your ass grease. <laughs> My, my next one for you, and my dick so hard it make the metal detector go off. We already used Action Bronson, that's the first person I thought of. Oh I really? This. Yeah. God, that's funny though. Beep, beep, beep. You're like, ah, sorry. I I, I don't know. That, sorry, I was I was listening to rap. It's one of my fetishes. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I get it. New York drill. <laughs> He's like, I'm into dragons that are pregnant, <laughs> personally. <laughs> you know, I used to work at a bed and breakfast in Europe. How was it? Eh, hostile work environment. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tyler the Creator. It is two chains. Yeah, now, now it's two chains. Yep. <laughs> that photo. It's on All Me by Drake, too. <laughs> there will never be another two chains. And my dick so hard and make the metal detector go off. Yeah, of course. I've yeah. heard that line a million times. It doesn't like hit you the same way when you're just listening to the song, but yeah. when you pull it out of context like this, I'm like, damn, that's crazy that he said this. <laughs> it's so funny. Two yeah. chains does not have ED. Pretty girls like trap music, so I woke up with my wood hard. Yeah. He says that. Two chains gets big boners all the time, or little boners. I don't know the size of his dick. I have not seen his nudes. I would be interested. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. People, the real deal hip hop heads got to watch our show and be like, what are they talking? <laughs> like, they talked multiple times in one video about which rappers' nudes they would want to see. Yeah. We shouldn't say stuff like that. But hey, but there's another community out there. You know, you have real deal hip hop heads and then you have perverts. Yeah, sure. And so the perverts that are watching are like, hey, I'd like to see the nudes too. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't say I wanted to see any of them. Oh, well, I'm speaking for the perverts. Go ahead, tell them. Say, I'm grading from Hive Mind and I'm speaking for the perverts. <laughs> okay, I will. Yeah. Just let me, let me, let me control myself real quick because that's a funny sentence. <laughs> I'm grading. Braden Weaver from Hide Mine, and I'm speaking for the perverts. Thank you. I think it's gonna help a lot of people. I think a lot of people are gonna feel more represented by the show now. Yeah, and other people that like think it's weird will just know that I'm not speaking for them. Right, good to tell people where you stand. I can, can, cannot win, okay. but I would like to get a point. I yeah. feel I would be embarrassed otherwise. Yeah, no one wants to get skunked. But then again, I mean, you didn't pick good picks. Oh, all right, Riley, this line says, if you was my sister, then I would kiss you. Oh, Which man. is weird on a lot of levels. Yeah, it is weird. I feel like there's gotta be some other context here. Oh, it's like a really sad song that like you probably shouldn't pull lyrics out of context from and like have a little hee hee ha ha at. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But out of context, it's funny. So it's like a bit inappropriate <laughs> that you picked this. Okay. Yeah, ah. totally. The hip hop heads are turning the channel off <laughs> as we speak. Oh, this is a sad hip hop song. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I feel like I can read this in like 10 different cadences and it all makes sense. Like a mm -hmm. lot of people would just slip this in and say it. But now I'm trying to think of a sad hip hop song. Right. Was it ever appropriate to make out with your siblings? I mean, like historically, <laughs> like this parenting has changed. Like the way we express intimacy has changed. Like, did we have to dial that one back? Was there a time, like let's say the 12th century where you would like- Way too recent. Like you say goodbye to your mom to go whatever, work in the fields or something and you just lay a big French kiss on her. On your mom? On okay, your mom, you dad, with, you sister, said siblings. brother. You said siblings first, let's start there. Like immediate family is what I mean. Can we just start with siblings? I mean- so, I guess if you want. And I don't mean start with, ah, <laughs> uh, geez. No, none of, I don't, I'm sure there was a time where it was somewhat socially acceptable to do that. I'm sure people did it, and I'm sure people right. are still doing it <sighs> behind closed doors. Yeah. We live in a dark society, man. A we lot do. of stuff that we don't see. I don't like to think about that sort of shit. Okay, I was just thinking like historically. I'm not thinking like weird. Three, two, one. Biggie. <sighs> it's J. Cole. J. Cole said this. <laughs> yes. It's the outro on KOD. If you was my sister, then I would kiss you. I'm gonna look it up on Genius, because I'm just curious what exactly J. Cole is cooking here. Sympathizing with a young girl who witnessed her cousin get shot, J. Cole recognized the unimaginable pain this child must be experiencing, 
He has devoted much of his efforts to provide a better future for the youth of urban communities, spreading the gains of his success to those in need. Cole makes a personal connection with the girl, picturing her as his sister and how he would cope with her trauma as a brother. I mean, that's a nice sentiment. Yeah. It's like nice and very serious. And it's just something like beautiful about the fact that you could pull it out of context and use it as a catalyst to think about if there was ever a time if it was cool to make out with your sister. <laughs> it's not cool, but like- Okay. So on a given day, you leave and I you give- I didn't mean to reopen the, the, you know what I mean? A peck is like a see you later. Yeah, no, I didn't. And now this is like maybe at a <laughs> funeral of a loved one and you're really trying to express your sadness and love, then you go for the makeup. <laughs> like it's a more serious expression of love, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that was the first battle edition video. Graydon is our big winner, two to nothing. Let us know if you want to see more of these. We're going to do it with other games too. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe all the stuff I said at the beginning, and Graydon, please leave these wonderful people some advice to leave or live their lives by. Please do not try and control for what is already written. All right, this has been my TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. I don't make out with my family. You know what he said you did, man. Jesus, man. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. And where, where is it? The Cars? No. Who did that song? I think it's the Cars, man. No shot. I put 150 bucks on it. 150 bucks on it? <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know. <laughs> it's by Bachman Turner Overdrive, <laughs> <laughs> which was my second guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. Flavors in your ass, ass crease. <laughs> no one says ass crease either. It's just like a funny thing. No one says that. Hey, your ass crease is sticking out a little <laughs> bit. Pull your pants off. <laughs>